Uh, this week we'll be looking at uh, the NPM solver in the Bifrost graph. Um, NPM is a slightly different way of simulating liquids and solids like earth and snow, sand, uh, mud, and things like that, um, and cloth as well, which is really good. Um, it's what is NPM? NPM is these are the people who I think wrote the solver that's integrated into Bifrost. I'm not 100% sure there's not much information on their website, but material point method is basically what NPM is. So um, I don't 100% understand the uh, blah, blah, blah. where are we? Sorry, I thought I had my NPM. NPM solver. Um, yeah, so it's a numerical technique used to simulate the behavior of solids, liquids, gas, and any other continuum material, especially it is a robust spatial discretization method for simulating multi-phase solid fluid gas interactions. So don't need to get bogged down in that, but the important thing about it is you can do fluid simulations, snow simulations, sand and sort of earth and mud, as well as cloth, all in the same world. So they can all interact with each other. You can also do um, like threads, which we'll look at for like cloth knits. Um, I haven't got them set up in this bit, but we'll, we, we will look at that today. Um, so it's a sort of unified world for simulating all sorts of different materials together. So rather than having like, you know, end cloth can't really work with bifrost fluids in this world, cloth can be moved around by liquids and snows and all these sorts of different things. So to sort of get our head around it and have a look at it today, I've made this sort of simple scene, which we can use, um, basically consisting of a little pit area where we can sort of simulate our stuff into. We have four emitters. Um, this one's going to be our snow. This one's going to be our sand. This one's going to be our water. And this one's going to be our cloth. Um, I've got this little guy here is going to be a collider. And he's going to be called snow cutter. And he's going to be cutting our snow in half to sort of show those sort of principles. Um, so, uh, what else was there to say about that? I think that's it really. Um, in the next video, we'll go through and setting up the graphs for it. Um, and the reasons for these different versions will make sense because they have different simulation types or source types when we get into the graph. So we'll have a look at that in the next video.